Hey guys, John Cannon for JJ DJ Entertainment. Wanting to do a uh, video here on um, a couple different gener uh, generator ideas you can do with Show Express. Now, I'm finally, after being a Show Express user for two years, I am finally working my way into utilizing the 3D generator. Because before, you know, I'll just program everything with the DMX lights hooked up, you know, in, in my office or. I'd make sure I get to the event really early and try to program a bunch of movements. Um, but the, the 3D is absolutely amazing, and I am shocked that I have never really messed with it until now. So what we're looking at is our curve truss setup we use for a lot of our school dances. Um, essentially, this setup has 16 um, truss warmers inside the truss to get the whole rig glowing. Uh, four spot movers and four beam movers as well as some mega 24s for um, crowd wash and black lights and stuff like that um, but for the most part what you're looking at here is the outer lights by the curve are beams the ones closest to the center are our spots these lights up here they're just kind of floating in midair up here uh, we're not really going to use this in the demonstration and then you see these lights, one, two, three, four. Um, I didn't finish building the truss rig. I kind of just wanted to get a frame to get an idea of what I was working with um, and give some general direction. But I didn't really, I didn't finish, obviously didn't finish building the legs. But these four squares represent the four truss warmers, one at the base, one at the beginning portion of the, the curve, one midway through the curve, and then another final one to get it to the center point, um, uh, set the center point of the rig. So, what I wanted to go over with, or with you guys tonight, is the generator. Now, typically before, I've always used a generator to just do movements for my uh, moving heads. And I'm sure other people have done this before, I just haven't really thought about it until now. Um, you can also do generators for colors. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So I have groups over here on the side which group um, different patterns for the lights. For example, group A, let me get to the right window. If I hit A, it groups all the truss warmers and leg A. Now if I'm looking at the rig, this is my point of view from the DJ booth. Going from my right counterclockwise, you have A, B, C, and D legs. So Leg A is all those, B is those, C and D, as well with the movers are on leg A and the spots on leg A's are also right there as well. So let me go to, let me just grab all the lights. Now if I hit K, K grabs all the truss warmers for me. So that way, no matter which one I'm, I'm working with, because I have them all highlighted, it's, it's going to turn the faders on for that particular channel for every one of the lights. So let me go ahead and jump into my generator. And let me turn my dimmer all the way up. And then usually I'll use this to, like I said, create movements. But since these are, these are par cans, there's no movements really other than the, the colors and the dimmer and the strobe or shutter. Um, so... Here I'm going to open up and let's say I'm a, these are by also by the way are this default um, patterns you can use and you can create your own as well. So I'm going to grab, let's see, I'm going to grab this sin. It looks fun. Let me turn red on. Then turn blue on and blue I'm going to grab another one. Let's say, hmm, I want this one. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drag these points up. Now, really, this dragging these points is just like grabbing the fader. You see right here where it says 0 0.4.8. The 4.8 is your, your left to right movement. And then the 0 is like just like the fader. You got 0 all the way to 255. So I'm going to drag the blue all the way up. And I'm going to give these other two humps, kind of looks like a middle finger, Kind of put them up about halfway, and, and you'll see why. I want this. I want this colors. These colors I'm gonna, I'm gonna build. I want it to be more towards a 
red, blue, and pink kind of feel. Not really a lot of greens, but I will toss a little bit of green in there as well. So for the green, I'm going to use that, that pattern I didn't like before, which was pretty small. I think it was the reverse. This, this, this guy. So it doesn't really give me really a lot of greens, but just a little hint here and there. So let me go ahead and turn this on and see what this looks like. It's kind of cool. You got a nice little, nice orange and blue. A little too much green. I'm not real a real fan of the green for this particular this particular show. Let me see what it looks like without the green. All right, turning the green off, you lose some of that, that orange. But we, what we can do, since this is an amber fixture, uh, RGBA, I'm going to go ahead and, and add that um that setting I had for the green into the amber. Yeah, that yeah, looks a lot sharper. I like that. Okay, so now, right now, they're all pretty much moving close to being the same consistency. So let's go ahead and um, use the shift for a couple of the colors to kind of space out the numbers or the, the lights. So we're going to space this one out maybe to 4.8%. 4 let's bump the blue a little bit. And let's, let's do the amber a little like I said, you, you play with this guys, find a you know find a good one that you guys like. And I tell you what, I really like that. That looks sharp. So let me go ahead. I kind of want some more blue. So let me bump up the blue on this channel a little bit. Or maybe, you know what, let's try this. Let's leave that there. And instead of because pretty much what's just what this is doing, it's saying go to zero to 153 on the fader, then come back down to zero. Then go up to 255, back down to zero, up to that 153, 147 for this one, back down to zero. So when you bring it back down to zero, it's taking all the blue out, which I think is giving you some of that, that really nice orange. I'm just going to bump one of these so it doesn't go completely back. It doesn't turn the blue off completely. It gives you some more, some more blue to it. And you can change this to line so it's a more drastic jump, or you can do... Um, points where it's going to be a really drastic sudden color change, but I like curves. It's real nice smooth color fade So and then we're gonna leave the dimmer alone But if you guys wanted to kind of make it pulse a little bit what you would do is add a second point and Then maybe do a um, Do a curve a curve fade and then you kind of do something like this to where we we'll space it out Kind of too much of a fade for me, so I'm going to go to a line so it'll be a little, a little bit more sharp and quick. And you could change the durations for um, each of these individual channels. So this particular duration is 5. Those, you know, the blue is a 10. The red's a 5. Let's go and dump the blue down to a 5 as well, see what, see what that looks like. Put the dimmer back all the way up so I can get a good, good, good perspective of what it's going to look like. I tell you what, I really like the amber fixtures. I've never been, a, never have owned an amber fixture. I've always had RGBs or RGBWs, but the ambers look really sharp. And I'm seeing that now with the, the like safety cone orange kind of accent you're getting with the 3D. So I think that's good. What I may do is I may um. Let me bring this red a little bit tighter here. So I need some more pinks and um pinks and ambers. But I think that looks good. Um so essentially, yeah, it's it's just another way for you guys to sorry, I'm I'm thinking thinking this stuff out um out loud while I'm doing it. So it's it's another way for you guys to utilize the generator um in other ways other than just using it for movements. So what we're going to do now is once you have something you like, what I would do because I like to program my colors all on one page and my fades on a second page, I'm going to turn the dimmer off. Okay, because all the colors are still there. All the color movements stay, stay moving, but because your dimmer is not on, you don't see it in the 3D right now or in live. 
But if you look at how I set up my um, my different fades, I have an all on, which will en enable this color pattern that I've made. I have, you know, kind of what I use to build up to it. When, as the song's building up to, like, when the, when the beat's really about to start hitting hard, I'll use a 10 second to a 5 second, and then a 2 second. Then once it's at its peak, I'll hit the 1 second real fast. Hit a blackout, and then it'll come back on full full throttle, or you know, a different like three phase edit that I've made. Um, a lot of a lot of different things you can do with having your fades separate. Here's another fade I've done where they, it starts from the bottom, like that Drake song, that's obnoxious, but um, it's, it starts from the bottom, moves up the next fixture, the third fixture, then the fourth. Um, a lot of different ways you guys can work with this. You know, Storm really hit the uh, nail on the head. And if you guys aren't familiar with Storm, he's one of the mods in um, uh, Chave Show Express, um, the Facebook group. Storm really hit the nail on the head that Show Express can do just about anything you want. It's really, it comes down to your creativity. Um, so as, as creative as you, as you guys can get, the more advanced and the more um, lighting designs you guys can come up with. So if you guys have any questions, by all means, please leave your comments below. Jump into the Facebook group again, Chave Show Express. Um, I should know this because it's one of the groups that I've started. Chave Show Express and Lighting. So guys, hop on in there. Um, get involved. Take a look at all the videos we have in there. Um, Storm is the profile king. He can um, help you guys create your own profiles for lights that, that are new and may not have a profile yet. Um, I'll do, probably do a video here um, explaining better how to do that because I spent probably about 10, 15 minutes on the phone with Storm tonight um, and he was you know, helping me out with a couple profiles. So again, take a look at it. Use the generator for more than just creating movements and um, practice and enjoy guys. Actually before I go, let me show you how to export the scenes. So if I like this color and maybe I want to come back and tweak this at a later point, I'm going to just save this and I'm going to call this crazy colors. Let me make a folder here. Pretty much what I'm doing is where that originally was being saved was where those where those movements I've uploaded. These patterns are saved in this folder called curves within the generator folder. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to make a folder called colors. And then I'll call this one crazy colors, red, blue, amber. So that way, depending on what fixtures I, I, I'm using or I'm trying to generate a scene for, I can recall this particular lighting design um, that I, I've created. And if maybe if, if once I get live with this particular show, um, with the structure in front of me, something I don't like about it, something I kind of want to tweak to you know fit the room better, I can recall this particular generating generator file that I've made, make the tweaks that I need, re-export it, and save it. So right there, we just saved the generator file so we can use it, but we still need to save it so we can actually use it in the live setting. So real quick, all you do is hit this gear icon right here. It says, do you want to save the editor scene? We've already done that, but let's go ahead and hit yes. Actually, let me just get that. Don't worry about saving. I already saved it. Um, and so here, it's created all the steps for you. Now, can you imagine back in... The, the beginning days of um, DMX lighting where you didn't have software and you had to program all these steps by hand using all your faders, you know, hats off to the guys that did a thing because I don't think I could, you know, do some of the stuff that, you know, we do today with without being able to use software-based um, DMX. So 43 steps in this, this um, scene. Let me go ahead and close out the generator file. And if, if I play it, and let me go to my live mode real quick so I can turn on the lights. There it is. So I think that would, that would look absolutely awesome um, in person. 
So I'm going to save this into one of my, my files. And like I said, guys, any questions, leave your comments below. Get on Facebook. Shoot me a message on Facebook. You know, we're, we're here to help you guys. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.